Hello Euphoria, today we will uh, prepare a quite uh, specific dish. We're going to make uh, rabbit with, uh, seasoned with uh, cinnamon and uh, rasa lanut, which is a Moroccan curry, uh, sweetened with uh, apples and apricots. And for the, the filling we use uh, classic vegetables, bell peppers, carrots and onions. So this uh, recipe we will prepare in a tagine. A tagine is also a very classical uh, mid-eastern pot. Um, it's like a, a stew pot, but very specific with uh, earthenware lid and uh, the base is uh, made of uh, cast iron. So the purpose of this is to fry in uh, meat uh, vegetables, uh, seasoning, uh, you add liquid and then you can leave it uh, steaming on a very very low uh, heat uh, during two to three hours. So it's, a very, it's, a, it's an item for really slow cooking. We're starting off our uh, preparation now. Um, we're going to uh, heat the, the base of our uh, tagine pan in uh, cast iron, so uh, slowly warming. We add a little, uh, little oil, just not too much. And in the meanwhile, we season our uh, meat, uh, which is leg of uh, rabbit. Pepper and salt. And then we add a little uh, cinnamon, which gives a nice uh, sweet taste. and the rachel lanut, which is the Moroccan uh, curry. You wrap it on the, on the rabbit. So our oil, oil is now uh, nice and hot. We can start uh, frying or searing uh, the rabbit. Quite important is you start on the skin side. So the skin side uh, it's a nice smooth side and it's important to, to fry this uh, first to get a nice uh, texture and to fry the, the rabbit. So we're frying the rabbit on a, a moderate uh, heat and uh, to keep in the, the moist uh, which will uh, escape now, we will put on the, the lid. And now we leave this for about uh, two to three minutes so the, the meat starts browning and then we go and turn around and uh, start the process all over. So uh, during our uh, rabbit is uh, frying, we uh, chopped off uh, our uh, chopped up our uh, vegetables. You can see we chopped them quite coarsely. Uh, we need it for this preparation because it's a stew, a very slow stew, slow cooking in a tagine, in a stove tagine. Uh, so uh, nice chunks of uh, vegetables. Uh, we take onions, we take uh, carrots, and uh, mixed uh, sweet peppers, uh, apples also in uh, big chunks. And uh, to finish off, we're going to add uh, garlic, uh, garlic cloves, unpeeled, very important. We keep the taste in, but we crush them a little bit. Just crush them with your, uh, with your knife or uh, use something else uh, to put on the, the pressure. Okay, so our uh, rabbit is now uh, nicely colored at uh, one side. You see a nice brown color, which gives a good taste to our uh, preparation. Uh, you turn it around and you leave it again for two to three minutes. So okay, our uh, rabbit is now nicely, uh, nicely baked, nice, nice color. You take it out. So we add a little uh, extra oil to fry our uh, vegetables. This is the advantage of this type of, uh, of pot, of uh, cooking uh, item. Uh, you can fry everything in, in, in one pan, so all the taste will, uh, will stay in. We season, a little pepper, already a little salt. And if you want uh, extra taste, you can add some more uh, Moroccan curry or the Rachel Hanout and maybe a little cinnamon, but don't, don't uh, exaggerate on the cinnamon because it, uh, it can be a very strong taste. This we will leave to fry for about uh, four to five minutes without the lid. Here we need uh, to uh, evacuate a little moist and to get a nice color on the vegetables. So we do it on a high heat without the lid. So our vegetables are uh, nicely, uh, nicely browned. Uh, this is important to add uh, extra taste.
Now we put in our uh, apples. It's good to put in a lot of apples, it gives a, a nice uh, sweet taste to the preparation. And for an uh, extra twist, I will put some uh, dried ap apricots. If you want, you can use other dried fruits like uh, prunes, um, but apricots goes very well with the, with the cinnamon. Then make sure the base of the tagine is uh, covered with your uh, vegetables and fruits. And then we add uh, chicken stock just underneath the surface of the vegetables. Don't add too much liquid because all the liquid will stay in this uh, tagine, in this preparation. It comes to a boil. And then we add our uh, crushed, uh, crushed garlic. We place the rabbit and now we put back on uh, the lid and all the rest we need is uh, patience, about uh, two hours for this uh, slow cooked uh, preparation. If you want to know when the, the preparation is uh, ready, there is a little trick, you see here uh, on the tagine there is, uh, let's say, a, a little reservoir. Well, you put in one uh, tablespoon, one big tablespoon of, uh, of water. And when the, the water is evaporated, the preparation will be ready. So what happens is that the, the steam now comes up into the lid of the tagine. It will condensate uh, due to, the, due to the, the colder temperature in the room, in your kitchen, it will condensate, it will go back in. So this type of uh, pot you don't need to put in the oven. It really is for uh, preparation on the stove. So this is important, don't put it in the oven, use it for preparation on the stove on a very low heat. So you see now our preparation is uh, starting off and all we have to do is leave the lid on and put it on a very very low heat very uh, slow cooking you don't need to stir again you just leave it like this for about two hours and the, the rabbit will be nice and tender so this is our recipe for today oh it smells very nice like uh, Morocco nights uh, we have uh, stewed uh, vegetables like uh, carrots and uh, onions uh, we have added in some little sweet taste, uh, apples and apricots. We have a fried uh, leg of uh, rabbit, uh, seasoned with uh, cinnamon and rachel anut, which is the, the Moroccan curry. So, bon appétit.